Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to the Human Experience Challenge. And we're joining Amara where um, she's talking to Don. Oh, spontaneous hug, cool. She had invited Caleb over but he was busy right now so he's probably at work, I'm guessing. But um, but yeah, in the last episode I was saying that I was going to let Amara and Caleb have babies because I want a vampire alien hybrid, if that's possible. So I want that to happen. But I really want Dom to move in as well because I think Amara would like to study him and see what he's like because this whole non-committal thing, it's, for want of a better word, it's an alien concept to her. And she, you know, she's wondering how does that work? How, you know, as a human, how does that work? Because as aliens, they don't have this whole non-committal thing. Because aliens, they mate for life. So I think what I'm going to do is let both of them move in. Um, give resident keys? No. Can we ask you to move in? And also, both of them know that she's a vampire, not a vampire, they both know that she's an alien. So it would make sense for both of them to move in. Okay, they're moving in. He's moving in. Okay, Don Lothario, and he's in with the Caliente sisters. Right, as you do. Let's move him across. I don't think he bought any extra money with him, did he? Which should be fun. Let's see. No, he didn't bring any extra money. And Don, he is... He's a young adult. He's got 85 days. She has 82. Okay, so she's slightly older than he is. Okay. And let's see. What does Don... What? Where does he work? He doesn't have a job. Or he, we're not going to concentrate on his career or any, on his aspiration. But we need him to join a career because we need some money. Freeloader that he is, he didn't actually bring any money with him. So we need to find him something to do. Something where we don't have to worry about him. Let me see, what would he be? Politician? Mm, no, secret agent? Life unnoticed? Eh, I don't know. Style influencer? Tech guru or writer? Don Lothario, what would he be? An entertainer? Nah. Critic, maybe? Or would he be a small-time criminal? I think criminal. I've never played through the criminal. Let's get him to be a criminal. But we'll, well, I'm not really going to play him because, you know, not really that interested. I just want him in the household. But I don't know how, what they're going to do with the bed situation, seeing that there's two of them and only one bed. And then Caleb. Oh, is, is, oh no, he's not so... It's not... That's his thing. I was about to say. Amara, what did you do? Tense. Low brain power. I leave you alone for like two seconds, Amara, and you try to brain analyze him. Okay, let's find Caleb. Invite to hang out. Hang out. Have you finished doing what you're doing? Because hopefully Caleb will move in. There you go. And let's pay the bills. While well, we can still afford to. Because she's had her first day at, at work. And it was basically a work from home thing to run on the treadmill, which she quite happily did. Um, take picture together. And then, uh, friendly, ask to move in. Why are you sad, Caleb?
Nip and growl me. Okay, he wants to move in as well. Who's Lilith? Hopefully that's your sister and not your wife. Because that might um that might complicate matters. We're gonna have a look when we're done. Maybe I should have done the whole ask if ask if single, but that only comes under romantic. Okay. Caleb. Oh, is that a that was a vampire thing? Okay. Um Genealogy. Oh, Lilith is his sister. Good. And not his wife. Okay, he didn't bring any money either. So how are they going to sleep? I don't know. This is... This is interesting. Do you have anything in your... No, you don't have anything in your inventory we could sell. You don't have anything in your inventory you could sell. We need to get you a job ASAP as well. And he wants to be a good vampire. Oh, and he's working. He's a lab tech. Oh, yes, that's right, because he used to work with her. And why are you... Vampire points? Um... Okay... Vampire points 19. <laughs> okay. Oh, can I pick? Is he thin skinned? Are these ones he already has? He has 19 power points. I guess I can. That fall? No. Class hallucination, no eternally welcome. Garlic community, manipulate life spirit. I think he. Oh, I think he has that perfect sun resistance. And tamed thirst. Oh, does he have insatiable thirst? He's a foodie, so that's not gonna work. He has vampires. He can make others into vampires. He can control the minds of other Sims, and he has supernatural speed. But um, mesmerize, child of the moon. Hygiene doesn't decrease. That sounds like one we want to have. And immortal pleasures. And he doesn't need to have fun. That sounds like one that we can have. What's that one? Okay. That could work. And he never drinks from other Sims on his own. Uh, you never go to a frenzy or drink from Sims in an uncontrollable manner. Did, um, no, I don't think I did that right because maybe I should have clicked on the question mark. Okay, I don't know what I did. I'm gonna have to look up. I'm gonna have to look up this stuff because I know nothing about vampires. A more pressing problem is the fact we have three people, one single bed, and 85 simoleons. 81 simoleons. Let's see if we can get a chair for someone else to sit on. Because, you know, yeah, um, surfaces, not surfaces, comfort. 
sofas. Not even the cheapest sofa. <laughs> love seat? No, no love seats. Outdoor furniture. Um, no. We'll just see how it goes. We will have to see how it goes. They can all just stand around and chat to each other. Or maybe they... Well, anyhow. Amara, you're... Oh, no, you need to go use the toilet. You go and sleep first. And then we'll let Caleb and Don... Because, yeah, Caleb and Don, we're going to deal with them as if they were... It, as if we were doing the I'm surrounded by idiots challenge, which is you don't really control the other sims in the house You let them get on with what they're doing and you control the one sim And I think I will do that with these two. We don't need to control them So Caleb do you know you have a job Don you now have a job You go to work in 18 hours. Oh god he goes to work at fun five in the afternoon. Never mind and Amara, you're asleep because you're the one we're worried about. You're the only vital one. So we'll let the two of them chat and do stuff. And then when we get something really interesting, I'll be back. So we're back. Um, Amara went to work for the day because she was just really grubby and stuff. And you probably noticed up here she got promoted to private fourth class. Which is awesome, which means we have a little bit of money. So, without further ado, let's get some stuff in the house. Because basically, it's been a whole round of Sims being needy, Sims peeing on themselves, and then Sims getting upset because they have peed on themselves. So, we need to get around that. They get a metal display case. Awesome. Right. But they, they've taken, Caleb and Don took turns sleeping on the rook, on the, the love seat outside, which is cool. Nobody was really upset over that. So I think we can, um, we can leave it at that for now. So let's get a toilet. Um, what am I looking for? Toilet. Let's do a shower first. What's the cheapest shower? 275 Unicorn Dream Shower. Wow, unicorns. There's a shower. Let's put in the toilet. The cheapest toilet that they have. There's the toilet. And. Should we sell, let's sell this and see if we can get a cheap double bed. Um, comfort. Beds. What's the cheapest double we can get? Uncomfortable air cushion double. How much cheaper? Oh yeah, we'll get the air cushion double I think. And then we still have enough for a stove and a fridge, maybe? I don't know. A very cheap fridge. I don't think we have a... No, we don't have enough for uh, the cheapest stove. Is, yeah, we need another 200 simoleons. But hopefully when Caleb comes home and has some money, we can do that. So, Amara... Come and use your new shower. And Don, well, you can stay what you do. You can sleep outside. We will get you another bed, Don. March around. How do you march around? Does it not give you... Oh, paused. <laughs> you can tell I'm not paying attention. I guess that's a... um. That's a thing that I'll probably get when I click on her. But let, let her have a bath first. Because she's, I mean, 
she's been at work stinky all day and now she's happy she's happy because she got a promotion yeah so let you you can do some marching around Don's all embarrassed because he wet himself. Um, more choices. March around. I want to see that. I'm loving the dog tags. The dog tags are really cool. Look. Are you not marching? Um, uh, march around. Okay. And that's what you do basically, just do that. Okay. Well, Don, let's get you. It's a um, thoughtful shower. Let's get you in the bathroom. And you can go to work hungry because you can get food at work. Oh, so does she march around the neighborhood? No. Uh, more choices. March around. Ready? You don't look like you're marching. Oh, okay. Is that a wacky machine? So basically, you just march around the neighborhood. <laughs> Looking like a Muppet, but you you think you look really cool. Well, that is the most bizarre thing I've ever seen for a Sim to do in a game. What do you need for a promotion, Sim? Oh, I just need to march around the neighbourhood like I own it. Does she not feel so... Oh, yeah. Does she not feel self-conscious? I guess not. And Caleb's home and he got 200 and something. Oh, he needs to feed. That's his problem. Let's, um... Oh, you know what? I could probably get some plasma packs. Where's the library? The li library, that's it. Visit the library. With Caleb. And he can purchase some plasma packs. Because I think you can keep those in the fridge. Um. Okay. Cute Sim, I know. Who are you? Oh, you're Brant. Yeah. I didn't really want to be all up in your face. I was trying to follow my Sim. But it doesn't want me to follow her. See, it disappears again. Is that intentional? Is that a bug? I seem to remember it used to work for a longer set of time. Have you completed marching around? Yes, good. Right, Caleb, you need... Well, you can go and use the the thing at the library. We need a computer. Who are we going to kick off? Kick you off. Um, Vampire Secrets, no. Order. Where's order? Order. More choices. No. Where's the plasma packs? I know you can... Purchase medicine? No. Are you only going to... Can you not order plasma packs? Is that only a Sims 3 thing? Purchase gifts? More choices. Holiday crackers and earbuds? No. Would it be under purchase glyphs? gifts? Um, show all. Uh, 
Um, <clears throat> I might have to buy... I thought you could order plasma packs and that was like juice. Okay, he needs to drink. All right, use the computer. Search for information on vampires. Will it come under household? Mm, no. Vampire secrets. Maybe it's something that it it's something he needs to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. Stop talking. Reach vampire law level three. Okay. Vampire secrets. Um, if he can, if he continues to research. I know I wasn't going to um, I wasn't going to play him, but I need him to not die, <laughs> and I don't know how to make him not die. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna have to play a bit of vampire tome. Ah, and he can purchase the Encyclopedia Vampirica Volume One in the computer under Vampire Secrets. Vampire Secrets, purchase vampire tomes. Okay, we can afford that. Okay. Does that mean then that you're going <laughs> to... As you do, Amara. <laughs> do we have to... What do we... What can we do then? Um, if I inquire about cardiovascular health. Friendly introduction. Vampire. Drink plasma. Ask for permission to drink. Although I think that might be a bad idea because it's probably going to tell him no. Because I seem to remember that, you know, if you drink, if as a vampire you drink from somebody in a room full of other people, they will not like you. But we'll see. Because, you know, Caleb's a bit desperate. Uh, chat with Josh. Ask for permission to drink. Was that a yes or a no? Nope. All right. More choices. Vampire. Drink plasma. Compel for a small drink. Because, you know. We need to. All right. Don only brought home 63 simoleons. Right, you go home, you go home, go home. Why is he tense? Oh, he's a guilty drinker. Well, too bad. I need to keep you alive until I can work out what I'm doing with you, Caleb. So you'll have to be a guilty drinker. I'm very sorry. Well, not that sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Because I need to keep you as a vampire. I think after you and Amara have your half alien, half vampire baby, then we can, then we can talk about, really? You've literally just walked onto the lot. He literally just walked onto the lot. Okay. Oh my god. I have never had... Okay, we might be getting that vampire alien hybrid a bit sooner than I thought. 
and not via <laughs> not via Amara. I'm glad I got that on camera because I have never ever had a sim a male sim abducted or any, any sim abducted in The Sims 4. Amara's gone to bed because she hasn't noticed anything and Don's like yeah business as usual. Can we afford a, a, a stove yet? I don't think we can. I think the cheapest one was two, 250 something. Oh no we can. Six simoleons. That's rubbish. <laughs> Maybe I should have bought a table. Never mind. Okay, well, on that note, I think this is where we're going to leave things for Amara, Don, and Caleb. With Caleb in the middle of being probed, he's very tense. Why are you very tense? Because you're being abducted. Don is quite happily eating yogurt or ice cream or something. And Amara's like, I haven't seen anything. I've gone to bed. And I will see you in the next episode of the Alien Life, Alien Life, Alien, <laughs> the Human Experience Challenge. And I would really like it if you can comment, like, and or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you in the next episode. Okay, bye-bye.